Welcome to the design studios at Plasco.com. I'm Bonnie Cluens and today I'm going to show you how to create this Biwa Pearl and Oval Chain Necklace. We will be using long pearls and they come on a strand where we have a selection of colors. I love multicolored strands because it gives me the possibilities of doing many projects from the same strand of pearls. I'll be starting off using my white pearls with three millimeter crystals at the end and a 24 gauge half hard head pin. A head pin looks like a straight pin and it allows me to secure my pendant beads without having any wire appearing. I'll be connecting my dangles, my pearl dangles, onto a split ring and I'll show you how to attach split rings to chain. Then I'll be adding my pearls using 24 gauge half hard wire and doing wire wraps and finishing with a clasp. Let's get started. I've taken a seven link piece of oval chain. What I'm doing is I'm going to pull the middle link away and that's going to create my place to have a pendant drop. And as you can see, I have two, three links on either side. First thing I want to do is add my split ring. A split ring is like a miniature key ring. They're difficult for some folks to use, but I'm going to show you my technique of attaching them, which is kind of foolproof and easy. I position my split ring in the nose of my round nose pliers, and the split ring is on the top nose of the pliers. I use a T-pin which is frequently used in sewing or attaching wigs to a uh, wig form. And I insert it on the inside of my split ring and that opens the ring for me. Then I attach my link and very gently rotate until my split ring is attached. Now I'm ready to do my dangles. This is a 2 inch 24 gauge head pin. I pick up a crystal, my Biwa pearl, and another crystal. Now I'm going to wire wrap that onto my split ring. Using a round nose tool, I position myself about a third of the way up the nose of the pliers and just a little bit above my bead. Bend my wrist away. Pull the wire towards me. Remove the tool and hook onto my split ring because once I do my wire wrap I will not be able to add it on. Positioning my pliers diagonally across the loop I started I very carefully wrap that small end twice down towards the bead. I have a small piece of excess wire and what I will do is take my flush cutters and get them as close as I can 
to that piece of wire that needs to be trimmed I'm as close as I can and what I do is position face down for safety reasons so that the wire doesn't fly in my eye and cut. There is a small piece left which is a bit sharp and I want to tuck that in. So what I do is pick up my crimper tool and very gently rotate around so that the end is very tightly tucked in. Now I'm ready to do the same thing on the other side with my second pearl. Now I've added on my additional chain and pearls and I'm ready to attach a clasp. I like to use my split rings again because the clasp is the weakest point and this makes a very strong closure. I position again my split ring in the upper nose of the pliers, come in with my T-pin, attach the link and attach my clasp and all I do now is rotate around the T-pin falls out and my clasp and link are now together. I will repeat the same thing on the other side adding a split ring adding my link and simply rotating away from me and now I've got my necklace ready to be worn. If you have any questions on this project or any other projects at Plasco.com or general beading questions Kindly contact us at DIY at Plasco.com.